This slide shows the derivations of the equations to determine the amount of shear reinforcement in the reinforced concrete beam. Let's say the shear reinforcement is provided in the mode of the vertical shearing or stirrup. And this stirrup is placed at an offset distance as indicated by the spacing S. To have the member adequately to resist the shear load, we will require the force in the vertical link to be equal to the vertical shear load. From the analogous truss here, the spacing between the two tensile force it will be equal to Z cotangent theta. As the shearing is spaced at a certain distance, the effective force in the vertical link it will be in the functions of the spacing divided by the distance between the vertical tensile stress. This is equated with the resistance of the shearing which is in the functions of the specified U strength of the shelling times the effective area of the shelling. The U strength of the shelling or the design strength of the shelling, it is in the functions of FYK divided by partial factor of safety of the steel, which is equals to 1.15. Combine these equations, you will obtain these equations. Substitute Z equals to 0.9D, you will obtain an equation like this. You may use these equations to determine the amount of reinforcement bar required in the member. On top of that, Eurocodes also provide a minimum value for the ASW per S, which is equals to these equations. The calculated amount of share reinforcement here need to be at least greater than the one set minimum in Eurocode.